Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com, and as you can see, I got my Tim and Mass done for the Lion King play. Uh, this pattern is now available on my website, UltimatePaperMache.com slash Timon. One thing that's really fun for me when I'm designing these masks or any of the sculptures is that I get to spend a lot more time looking at photographs of the animals than I normally would. And one thing that really stands out about meerkats Aside from the fact that they stand up real tall on their hind legs and they gather together in a big glob of meerkats, <laughs> all, all just kind of hunched up together and all standing up really straight. It's just really cute. And uh, <laughs> meerkats and people put their ears down low so that if you're looking straight on at a meerkat or a human, the top of the ear comes even with their eyes. And that's why I put the ears here on my Tim and Mess. But if you've seen the first Lion King movie, you know that the, the, the designers of the characters put Timon's ears way down here, um, kind of at the very back of his jaw. And I hate to admit it, but that's really cute. After you've got all the pieces taped together, just move those ears around and find the place where you think they're the cutest and go ahead and tape them on there. Now, of course, this is another pattern just like these back here where uh, you print them out, um, preferably on full sheet labels because that's a really easy way to do it. Go ahead and put those on cardboard. It took three cereal boxes to make this guy. You can use just regular copy paper and a um, like a glue stick, but it just doesn't hang on as tightly and it, it's just not quite as easy. You can do it, but it's an awful lot easier to, to use the labels. That's, that's the way I'm doing it always now because I'm lazy and I like doing things the easy way. There aren't a whole lot of pieces on this one, so it actually goes together really quickly. The, the one thing that does take a long time is your paper mache. I use the same thing that I use on all of my lion mask, and that is the brown paper. Um, I, I got some here. People ask me what kind of brown paper I use, and <laughs> it's this stuff. Um, when I have to buy all of my art supplies from Amazon.com because I live in a really small town in southwest Minnesota. There isn't an art supply store within 200 miles of here. So I do buy all of my art supplies from Amazon.com and they quite often come in boxes that have that paper in them. You know, they look, put little boxes inside of big boxes and that paper is fantastic for paper mache. Uh, I use wood glue. That makes it go really fast because it dries quickly. But you will cover part of it and then you won't have any dry places to hang on to it. So you have to sit it aside and let it dry for a little while and then come back to it. So that process, you, you want to give yourself plenty of time to get the paper mache on there. I'm only using one layer of paper mache, so that's pretty easy, but the drying time just slows things down. After that, I, I sprayed them with some white primer. That dries really quickly. There's only four colors altogether. I I used white, burnt umber, black, and just a touch of burnt sienna mixed with the burnt umber to make those really nice dark brown eyes. I was looking forward to painting those eye spots ever since I started making the pattern because I think that's really what makes this guy uh, really stand out. The other one that has eye spots, of course, is Zazu. I just love this one. The other thing that's kind of similar between Zazu and Timon is that because they have these long beaks, or in this case a snout, um, they couldn't be attached towards the front of the headdress. They had to be pushed back. Otherwise, the, the weight out in front would have pulled the mask down and it just wouldn't have been comfortable to wear. So these are attached just a little bit differently than the lions are. If you've already made uh, Lion King masks using my patterns, you'll, you'll notice that right away. Um, all the instructions are on the pattern. There's a whole lot of photographs in the instructions, so you'll have no problem with it. But if you have any questions at all, when you're putting your mask together, just let me know. I'm always happy to help. So that's all I've got for you today. If you make one of these guys or anything else, I really hope that you'll come back and show it off on the Daily Sculptors page on my site. I would absolutely love to see it. So now go make something and then come back and visit me, ultimatepapermache.com.